Hey guys, Evan here with CG Explain, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this reflective surface that you see on my my background. So um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how to create a material that will reflect uh, a bitmap, and um, let's get to it. It's pretty easy and quick, so just let me show you how to do it. We're basically going to be setting it so that um, uh, this, like image will be reflecting off by using a reflection map and we can change our amounts if we want to see more of the metal and more of the other stuff so just go in here and do alt w to maximize and just go to create geometry and switch this to extended primitives and then we're just going to create a torus knot and just drag that out and change your uh, proportions and yeah just center this real quick and there we go we can um, change this stuff, but not as cooler, so, you know, yeah, and just turn up your segments a little bit to make it more realistic, your sides, segments, All right. Now that we have this, it's time to create a material, so just hit M on your keyboard, and uh, if you have something that looks like this, your slate material editor, you're just going to want to go modes, compact material editor, and yeah you should be good but before you do any of that hit F10 on your keyboard to bring up your render settings and uh, go down here assign renderer make sure your uh, everything is on like scan line because we won't be needing the other stuff and just do force two sided super black I just like to do that and if you want to make like a background set this to HDTV video it'll do 1920 by 1080p and you should be good. So just hit M. And again, if you have the slate, just hit Modes, Compact Material Editor, and you should be good. So, uh, yeah. The first thing you're going to want to do is choose a diffuse color. So do something like, I don't know, what color is chrome? If, if you look, it's actually like a darker color, but uh, the shininess makes it seem bright. So, yeah. Apply this material, show in viewport, and just like, Turn off edge faces for realism. Um, yeah, let me just deselect that. All right. Uh, yeah. Now that's done. Just go ahead. Uh, choose your your. Uh, go to your maps and uh, hit. Where is it? Reflection map and um, just hit none and go to your bitmap and load it up. So I have mine in. Uh, see if I can remember where I put this. I put this in. Pictures. Uh, here, um, see if I can find it. All right, here it is. City by the Bay. Uh, yeah, just open that up and lower the amount that this is going to be happening. You can see the changes here. So set this to like, I don't know, like eighty, something like that. And then uh, close, minimize your maps, and you can change the uh, specular level and the glossiness. And that's just what's going to make our, our thing show up. And then, like, just go ahead and add a light. So I'll turn this up to like 100 or something. And then do this to like your glossiness to like 25. And then add a light so just go to like uh, create lights and then just do like photometric and um, just do like target light because uh, this is just for the exposure control and just do that and just hit yes and just drag out your target and move it up okay and then create a uh, camera control C so we can basically bookmark our location and hit P for perspective and then whenever we want to jump to our camera we can just hit C so just hit P for now and then um, and just select the camera hit uh, clip manually and just turn that like way up as long as this box is past this thing you should be good so just uh, just actually you need to turn this like way up because we're going to be adding a ground plane so it seems kind of silly just turn it like way up and then uh, 
And yeah, then you're just going to want to go create and then go standard primitives and create a plane. Just do like keyboard entry 000, zero, zero and then just do like 100 100,000 and then just hit create. And boom, we have our colossal plane. Hit C. We obviously have to uh move up our torus so just uh, hit F for the front view and just try and get it to look like it's on the ground and hit C again for camera and um, control D to deselect everything and then to orbit our camera we're just gonna we're just gonna use this little orbit thing down here and pan with the middle mouse button and then orbit again and try make it so you can't see like the horizon because yeah, we don't want that. And uh and yeah. So now that that's done, just go ahead and hit render. And you can see we have this, but we need to play with the settings a little bit. Let's make this a little bit thicker. Not that, it's the um it's the cross section. All right? And then Okay, so it's coming together a little bit. We're just going to go into our material editor. And then just like change the tiling of our reflection map. And then we need to. Uh, so then just go in here and lower the output. You can see up here. And uh, yeah. Close this and go to tiling and set this to like. 0.7 just to make it look bigger on here now we have it we have our city and everything 1080p you can use this as a background you can set a standard material to the um, to the plane render it out again and uh, there you have it so hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to subscribe leave uh, a like down below it takes like one second share this video and uh, Thanks for watching, guys.